guys, welcome to Thursday's video, and today I'm going to do a video all about springtime essentials, even though outside it's pouring down rain. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a different background. I have rearranged my room, so I have my vanity over here. I'll probably talk about that in my daily vlog today. And then I have my new dresser over there, which is actually an old dresser. It's my mom's dresser. But... Um, yeah, I'm doing Veda, in case you didn't know, on my second channel. I'll put a link to that here. Today, we are going to talk about springtime fashion, makeup, beauty essentials. Why am I gesticulating ridiculously? Yeah, let's get started. So we'll start with beauty products, and the first thing is cream everything. Cream blush from Il Masca, cream blush from NYX. Cream blush from Sonia Kashuk, which I don't even know if they make anymore. Cream highlight from Urban Decay, which I think they make still. But in the spring and the summer, when it starts to get warmer out, the dewy look tends to be more of a thing that people like. Um, and I like too. And if I can have anything that makes my skin look less dry, that's a good thing. Um, so cream products. To go with that, a good matte bronzer. And uh, I know that kind of goes against what I was just saying, but so many bronzers you find, at least in the drugstore, are shimmery. And on certain skin tones, that works. But on pale skin tones, please, for the love of God, do not wear shimmery bronzers. Um, this one is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Natural. And this one is the one that works best for my skin tone. It's the least orange. But they do have other ones that are lighter and more yellow tone that work on different skin tones, but Bobbi Brown, these are really great, especially because you get a ton of product. They are quite expensive, like, looking at the range of bronzers, but you get a lot of product in here. Lightweight foundations or BB creams. This is one I got last summer, and this is the Dr. Jart Premium Beauty Balm, and there's a ton of different BB creams. I know, like, a bunch of high-end brands and drugstore brands are putting out BB creams. Just look for one that suits your skin the best. I'm not saying that you have to pick one over the other, but some people like lighter coverage, some people only work with a certain color. This one comes out a bit gray, but it, when it blends in, it, it works really well with my skin tone. So if you have like a pinkish skin tone and you're pale, uh, check this one out. And I know Skin79, like a bunch of Korean brands, have ones that work really well. If you have darker skin, you might want to go for more of the American brands because they have ones that are suited better towards darker skin tones because like the Korean ones are obviously for light skin tones. Beauty Balm, Tinted Moisturizers, Lightweight Foundations. Ha! <sighs> I'm going to talk about this again in my festival packing video because I'm going to make a video about how to pack for a festival. Coral, Bright Colors. What's this one? I have four Five MAC lipsticks here. I didn't mean for them all to be MAC, but these are just my brightest lip colors that I have. The one I'm wearing right now is Candy Yum Yum, and it's a matte finish. Um, I have Watch Me Simmer, which is hella neon bright coral, and you can't even get it anymore, I'm sorry. You can get uh, uh, Impassioned, which is an amplified, and this is almost the exact same color as Party Parrot, but a uh, different finish, which is a great color for spring. It's so, so beautiful with, like, bronzer and mascara. Huh. I have cross wires, which I talked about, which is like a nice kind of more muted wearable coral color, not quite as neon. Hibiscus. Why am I even showing this? It's not even available anymore. I'm sorry. Like a bright, bright lips, man. Bright lips, corals, bright pinks, bright reds. Oh, Lady Danger. That'd be another good one because the weather is hopefully starting to get warm. Gold eyeshadow. Okay, gold eyeshadow is what I bust out so much in the spring and the summer. I love Urban Decay Half Baked. That is my favorite gold eyeshadow because it's so pigmented and so shimmery because if you're going to wear gold, you want it to be like tin foil, gold leaf shimmery. You do not want any sort of subtle shimmer with gold eyeshadow. Another one is um, Penny Lane from the... Vice palette, which is a more coppery color, but it's another really, really pretty one for spring and summer. And you, like, this is a good one for all year round, but 
You can mix it with the bright colors. Oh, put like this on the top lid and then this on the bottom lid. Ah! And then um, a couple of MAC ones that I have. I have the Rubenesque Paint Pot, which is a great slap on the color. It's like a peachy gold. And then it's kind of like sister color is Melon Pigment, which is basically the same color, but more shimmery and obviously in a pigment formula rather than like a paint pot formula. Both of these colors are great for if you just want to put on one color because so much of what I like to do during spring and summer is low maintenance. It's just like done or like one color and then bright because usually there's more things that I want to do and I'm not cooped up in my house. So easier things. Nail polish. I don't know. I'm not one for pastels. I know pastels are a trend. I, I do like this pastel peach, which is peach melba. Um, I also like this coppery, which color is this? Copper Penny from Revlon. It's a really pretty straight up copper color. This one from Essie is Mod Squad. It's a bright, real mod pink. It kind of matches my lipstick right now. I like kind of mixing spring and summer. It's sprummer. I don't necessarily do things differently in the spring than in the summer because the weather is pretty much the same. Like it gets just slightly hotter, but there's really nothing that changes. Like our weather here is pretty much like uh, all year round. There's not a whole lot of variation. Tinted lip balms. This is a lip gloss actually. Tinted lip balms. I have the Cora's Lip Butters. These are amazing for when you don't want to have high maintenance. They smell good, they taste good, and they're pretty colors. They have a decent color payoff for how moisturizing they are. Like a lot of times you'll get a tinted lip balm that has no moisture, but these are like the best of both worlds. Ah, no wonder they're $12. And then I have um, the Revlon Just Kiss Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. This one's in Rendezvous. All of these are amazing. They have a really nice kind of minty, smell and taste to them, which is really refreshing, especially in the warmer months when you're sweating and people generally are smellier. So if you can have like mintiness all up on your lips while everybody else around you stinks, that's good. <laughs> Face mists. I don't really actually know what they're supposed to do, but especially me with dry skin, if you have dry skin, invest in like, this one's the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. It smells great, it feels really good on the skin. If it's a hot day, if you're literally just driving in your car and you're like, I hate everything, just and it just, it just feels good on your face. I don't, it, I don't even know if it has any sort of skincare benefits, but if you literally, like when you're done using it, just put some water in it and keep it in the fridge. Do that, just get a spray bottle and put some water in it. I'll use that in my festival thing. Now onto the fashion-y things. And that's technically why these hats are sitting behind me. Um, hair accessories, hats, headbands. I have this scarf that I got at Fuego that I need to get more scarves that aren't quite this long that are just kind of like head wraps. Because on days when you don't want to do a whole lot with your hair, on days when maybe you woke up too late to take a shower or you are trying to preserve your color if you get like a new hair color for spring. You don't want to wash your hair as often. So having solutions, uh, getting bandanas, hats. I got this one from Target. I wore it in Outfit of the Day a couple weeks ago. I really, really like it. Get straw fedoras. This one was my dead uncle's. Big, big straw floppy hats and head scarves that aren't gonna make you sweat too much are really good alternatives for washing your hair all the time. Um, dry shampoo, invest in one of those. They have a ton of them in the drugstore now. You don't have to buy high end when it comes to dry shampoos. Yeah, and get bright colored ones, like bright colored scarves that will also detract from the greasy mess that is your hair. Sandals. You can finally start wearing sandals and I personally like sandals that have some sort of support. These ones I'm actually selling on Etsy. They're a size Okay, for like 10 bucks. Oh, they're a five and a half. If you have tiny feet, I'm selling these for $10. Um, these are my sister's. She got them from Target, I think last year, but they have a cool little like tassel-y fringe detail on it. Sandals with support so you can wear them all the time and not be like flip flopping around. Cause I hate flip flops. I just have to say I hate flip flops so much. <laughs> like I grew up with my mom wearing Birkenstocks all, like that was my mom's whole year round shoe. So 
If you can invest in a pair of Birkenstocks, those are awesome shoes that will last you forever. That you might only have to get resold once every five years. Because they are amazing shoes. Bright colored flats. Um, I got these actually in Australia last year. I got a get some from Ruby. These ones I got from Target. I wore in an outfit of the day last month. They have a, this tie that shuts it up. They look similar to a pair I saw on ModCloth. ModCloth has a ton of really cute bright colored flats. I know Urban Outfitters has a lot of flats. Like, you can find bright colored flats anywhere. Loosey goosey crappie toppies. Um, I'm wearing one right now actually. I got this from American Apparel in September, I think? Yeah, that's when I went to Oregon. Get loose fitting tops that aren't gonna make you sweat too much. Um, this one I got from Target last year. It's just a really lightweight, kind of high-low. It's not super cropped, like if you wear just kind of like a regular, like at waist rise jeans, they'll they'll hit the waist, but if you're wearing like super high waisted, it'll be fine. If you're wearing like low waisted jeans, you'll have some midriff showing, but I hate low-waisted jeans, they're the bane of my existence. So I like wearing crop tops because usually they hit where I wear my pants. So I'm not showing a bunch of midriff because I got some stretch marks on my belly. Loose fitting tops and loose fitting skirts. I'm also wearing this maxi skirt I got from TJ Maxx a couple years ago. Just wear things that are loose fitting that are comfortable because you can only wear so many layers. You don't always want to be walking around in like a bra top because it's not always Coachella. Speaking of maxi dresses, actually, this one, I'm gonna try to sell if my sister can't fit into it. But this is a really cute kind of eyelet, like boho farm girl skirt, or dress, it's not a skirt. Loose things are a thing that I like for spring, okay? <laughs> florals, I just like florals. Uh, all year round, but especially in spring and summer. Um, this is a romper that I showed in my video about my thrifting haul, and rompers are also good because they're literally all one piece and you don't have to worry about like two pieces. It's the lazy person's outfit. Um, just put like a belt in the middle because you can't really wear a romper without accessories because otherwise it just looks like a baby outfit. Florals, loose fitting tops, crop tops that are not fitted at the waist, maxi skirts, maxi dresses. I know Forever 21 has a ton of maxi dresses right now that I'm like, oh, I have such a love-hate relationship with Forever 21. Literally, Forever 21 is the most complicated relationship in my life because I love the clothes that they have, but the store is the worst place in the world. I hate it. And then match that with like bright jewelry and like just bold colors and bold earrings and bold everything. I like being bold in my fashion. I'm still thinking about doing a festival lookbook. If I can get it together in time, I will, but otherwise I'll just do like festival tips and stuff. I've been doing a festival tip series on my blog if you want to check that out. I did one about finding the perfect maxi dress and then one about shoes because I see way too many girls at festivals wearing heels and I want to push them over. If you're going to Coachella next weekend, don't wear heels for the love of God because people will judge you. So uh, I hope you have a good day and check out my daily vlogs on my second channel, please, because I'm doing that. That's a thing that I'm doing. I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye! Or I'll see you tomorrow if you're subscribed to my second channel. So bye too!